I'm going to make one comment, one sentence, and it pretty much tells you everything you need to know if you unfold it. You have to really meditate on it. You have to unfold it and think about it and turn it over in your mind and chew the cud and, and contemplate it and, and, and really unfold it and compare it with everything in your life. So here's the comment. Okay, so ready? So here's the comment. The path has already been walked. The path has already been walked. The path has already been walked. That should take away your fear. That should take away your doubt. That should give you the eternal security you need. That should take away every uh, negative if you unfold that. Whatever it is. The path has already been walked. It doesn't matter if it's health issues. It doesn't matter if it's car issues, house issues, job issues, finances. It doesn't matter what it is. The path has already been walked. What's the worst that can happen? Absent from the body, present with the Lord. So let's say, so Jesus walked the path and uh, he made a way. Every person is per the Son. And so Jesus walked the path that applies to any person. Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. How did he know? Because he already walked the path. He, every possible configuration, he already knew. He wrote the script so he could walk the path. Through Jesus, all things were made. And so let's say you buy a car, right? So let's say you buy a car. And somebody put that, somebody meticulously designed that car, put it together, put the engine together, the tires, the wheels, the drive shaft, everything. So they, they built that car from bottom up. And so something breaks down. Oh, no, it's the end of the world. No, it ain't. Somebody's already walked the path to build that car, and the people who sell them, they already fix them all time, all the day, all day long. The path has already been walked by somebody who made that car. Oh no, I got a roof leak. So, uh, fix it, fix it. I don't know how. The path has already been walked. You can call it simulation if you want to. Just watch enough videos, simulation, and just repeat what they did. If you mess up, tear it off, do it again. It's only a few shingles. If you got a leak, rip it off, start over. I got a water leak. Water's going everywhere. Go out to the road, turn the line off. The path, they already prepared for that. It was prepared before the foundation of the world. So when they ran the water line to your house, they knew there was going to be a time you need to cut your water off. So it's already prepared. You can go out to the road and cut your water off. They make a tool for it. Or you can use, use some cha channel locks. My point is, it's already been prepared, pre-cut. What's the comment again? The path has already been walked by Jesus. Jesus already walked the path. Making food, cooking, making a meal, changing your tire, plugging a tire. Last year was the first year I plug, ever plugged a tire, which was really shocking. I couldn't believe, I can't believe I never plugged a tire. But anyway, I, I took the wheel off, took, took the tool, made the opening, put the plug in, pumped the tire up, and it held for a year. I drove that, I drove that tire for a year and then until I bought new ones. Somebody already did the path. Whoever whoever uh, invented that already did the path, already made the path. Jesus already made the path for you. 
Jesus already walked the path, whether it's an emotional thing, a mental thing, a psychological thing, Jezebel, Delilah, uh, family problems. Jesus was, you know, the Bible says, when my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Jesus was forsaken by uh, every human. He came into his own and his own received him not. On the cross, Lord, Lord, why have you, all, why have you forsaken me? He took on the sin of mankind. God couldn't look on that. He cried out. Father, why have you forsaken me? So Jesus already walked the path. Have you been forsaken? Have you been left high and dry, cold? Did you did your wife take off, cheat on you? Did your kids abandon you? Jesus already walked the path. There's a solution. There's a there's a consolation. There's a there's a soothing. There's a there's a bomb. The bomb of Gilead. There's a bomb. There's a healing. No matter what it is, that Jesus already walked the path. And see, if you set your affections above, the path is easier. No matter what struggle you face, whether it's cold, you know, if you deal, you know, a lot of people go to work and they feel cold. They put two layers on. Get you some thermals. Put multiple layers on. If it's cold, they don't teach you stuff like that in school. If your parents never taught, never cared and taught you, then sometimes you need to be told four or five times to remind you, hey, if it's cold, wear some thermals. Stupid. <laughs> Jesus already walked the path. And no matter what you do, the, 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 the solution was there before the problem appeared. How's it going? <laughs>